Luther. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on. Come here, boy. <laughs> yeah, good boy, good boy. Good dog. Went and ripped your sweater. Look at that. Terrible. Getting to go running. All right, out here in the woods, enjoying ourselves Sunday afternoon. Down there, you can probably see the waterfall. Rolling some footage of that here. Luther, get away from the edge. There you go, pretty neat looking. Uh, pretty steep hill here. Um, enjoy this time of the year because the snow's melting now and, and uh, you can get out and actually start to do some hiking, which is nice. Um, just wanted to do a real quick video here. You know, head up the hill that way. To the right. Uh, giving some orders there. <laughs> um, but we know from reading the Bible, Matthew chapter 24, the Lord lists a couple of things that we can, that are going to be part of the be beginning of sorrows. And um, one of those is wars and rumors of wars, uh, pestilence famine and earthquakes in diverse places basically four different things and uh, the famine thing has been on my mind I'm going to actually do a better sermon on it. it goes back if you go to Psalm 37 it talks about 
how God will actually spare the righteous when famine comes. And um, but there's a lot going on right now. If you don't know about this, a lot of uh, food processing facilities are burning, and uh, tens of thousands of pounds of food are disappearing. And uh, you know the whole avian flu, bird flu thing coming out supposedly and they're killing tens of millions of turkeys chickens whatever America's headed into a famine uh, if you know the prophecy back in the book of Amos you'll see that uh, a lot of the the thing of famine is that God actually sends a famine of hearing the words of the Lord and there's a famine in the land already of hearing the word of the Lord because not many people use the King James Bible problem number one and of those who do use the King James Bible very few believe it so uh, just wanted to just put this out here and and um, you know as Christians you shouldn't really be afraid of famine because we're taught to fast there might be some really good opportunities to pray and fast coming up um, something to think about but uh, you know how, oh should we stockpile all kinds of food and whatever else well I've been telling people to do that for a long time so I'd say at this point in time if you haven't stockpiled food in preparation for God destroying the heathen well there's not much hope for you um, you know as a saved born again Christian you can actually be a partaker with the lost world if you're taking pleasure in worldly things and if you get caught up with all the worldliness out there and everything else you can become a partaker with them so um, just felt it's very important to say this because it seems to be speeding up very quickly this thing of this famine and to me people say oh, it's artificially created it's the Bilderbergers, it's the World Economic Forum, it's the Jesuits, <laughs> it's whoever. Uh, actually, I think it's God. And I'm going to be saying more about that in future studies coming up about how that uh, God is angry with the wicked every day. Psalm 7, verse 11. And he prepares for the wicked the instruments of death. There are multiple ways that God destroys the wicked to purify the land. Out here right now, there's a lot of purity out here in what God has created. Not surrounded by a bunch of concrete buildings and whatever else. Thank the Lord for that. No vexing rock music, rap music, whatever else. Um, so, it's a nice place to come out to, out here in nature. Enjoy the day. And, uh... You say, well, I just recently got saved. I don't have time to prepare and whatever else. Well, live righteously and God can get you through things. Uh, but if you forsake the Bible and you say, well, I'll just do it my way. And the Bible's a good book, but it doesn't relate to me today and whatever else. Well, you're going to be going down with the ship. Let me tell you. Um, famine is coming. And it's going to be bad. If you haven't seen some of the videos of over there in Shanghai and over in China people screaming at night because they have no food getting in clashes with the police I hope the Chinese people start to get a backbone and actually call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ um, if they do that then they have a chance to fight their tyrannical government if they try to do it in their own power they have no chance I think what nearly a hundred years or maybe 100 years of communism should be enough to prove that uh, communism isn't going to help anybody so there's a moose made a deposit there on the ground <laughs> we don't call you know you have gooseberry pie we call that mooseberry pie now watch out for the mooseberry pie up ahead <laughs> so but I'll be doing some like I said a, maybe I'll do an actual sermon on the thing of famine what to do about it, how to survive it, whatever. 
but uh, there's a lot of different things wherewith, wherewith God is going to judge this nation. Um, there's a lot of things that he can do. And, uh, but I think the next one in line is going to be a famine. Just judging by the way things are speeding up towards that end. And it would make sense because if people don't want to feed on the Word of God, then why should God give them food? But uh, I think famine is going to lead to other things. And that's the bad part about it. Because it's not going to just be, hey, people are hungry and whatever else. No, actually, it's going to be, there will be riots. There will be people looting stores and stealing and whatever else. Like we've been seeing for years here in America. It could lead to civil war. And uh, what is a child of God supposed to do in these times? Pray, prepare the best you can, um, and sit back and thank the Lord for his judgment on a nation that is long overdue for judgment. America is the biggest aborter. Uh, did more abortions than any other country that I'm aware of. Maybe China might have beat us, but uh, that's why they're going through the problems that they're going through. God doesn't take it too lightly when you kill babies. Um, America produces probably most of the world's pornography. Uh, some of the wars that we've been engaged in, doing horrible things, uh, I'm not against war, I'm not against the military, but the things that we've done in other countries, using depleted uranium as ammunition, oh, that kills the enemy, yeah, it kills our own soldiers too, that's stupid. You know, all the different stuff. You know, Agent Orange during Vietnam and all the many things, you know. The, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, mustard gas or whatever else. And now they use it for chemotherapy to cure patients with uh, cancer. <laughs> what a joke. What a sick joke. So, America is going to get what's coming to it. And soon. And, uh, as Christians we need to rejoice in that. We need to say, um, God, spare me, spare my life, but thank you, Lord, for the judgment, for your righteous judgment that we're seeing. So, I guess that'll be it for now. I have to kind of watch where I'm going here. Going through some snow right now, if you can see that. It's April 24th, I think, today. And, uh... Yeah, still pretty pretty chilly. Not too bad. I could actually probably go without my hat right now. A little bit warm, getting a little sweaty. But uh, it's chilly earlier, so I put it on. But yeah, so we will see everybody in upcoming videos. Thank you to everybody out there, of course, for your support, for your prayers. And uh, Let's get ready for what's coming. The judgment of God is coming upon this nation. And um, I'll say this in closing. Even if you are a faithful, I love America, America's a great nation, the whole deal. Um, you understand, if you have any sense to you at all, that the nation that was America passed away a long time ago. This isn't America anymore. Uh, this nation with all the, oh, excuse me there, hit the lanyard. <laughs> this nation with all of the, you know, pervert pride stuff and whatever else, that makes a nation weak. Um, the reason that they're doing a, pushing this agenda of the LGBT whatever stuff is to weaken the nation and ultimately get people to sterilize themselves. Not too smart. But uh, all the woke culture and all the anti, or the reverse racism, I should say. You know, if you're white, you're supposed to hate yourself now, I guess. Absolute nonsense. And the division, left-right paradigm, the division, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Republican. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Not a dime's worth of difference between the two when you get to the highest levels doesn't matter so America as a nation is not going to come back um, it'll become something new 
some kind of a third world country probably. Excuse me here, duck in between. And uh, yeah, so I definitely miss the nation I grew up in. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be going to something different. So, <gasps> shots fired. No, actually just a woodpecker. Just kidding there. Uh, <laughs> if you're from the city, you probably thought it was gunfire. But uh, yeah, out here, that's a woodpecker looking for lunch or whatever they have. So <laughs> that is going to be it. And we will see you in upcoming videos.